Hi guys, Ready Set RC back again today, and today we have the Sen Colossus XT on the bench. We're gonna do some work on this truck. If you guys have been following us on Instagram, we've done some change, some minor changes to this truck. We changed out the hexes to the 24 millimeter hexes. Standard on this truck is 23 millimeter, but with the 23 millimeter hexes, you don't really have too many wheel options out there. So what we're running on here is the 24 millimeter hexes. It gave us the ability to run these pro lines on here. Now these are the pro lines that are normally for an X Max. Perfect wheels. I think when we took it out for the first run, we saw that they hooked up well, maybe a little bit too much grip for the area that we were running them on, but we plan on doing some additional changes and that's why we have the truck on the bench today. Another thing that we noticed too on this truck was that the offset on this truck was a little less than what was on the stock version of this vehicle. And it's not the matter of the hexes are not giving us the offset, the actual the wheels on this truck are not giving us the offset that you would normally get from the stock wheels on this vehicle. So in helping us improve that, we ordered up some parts. And we're also gonna do some maintenance on this truck as well. So one of the parts that we ordered and I'll put all the part numbers in the description. Uh, these are 24 millimeter hexes, and they also provide the offset that we're gonna need for this truck as well. We ordered some metal skid plates, uh, mainly for the rear. I think what we're getting from the T-Bone Racing front bumper is excellent, but on the rear, we're still running the stock setup. And the reason for that, we have the wheelie bar running on the rear of this truck, and I wanted to keep that. I did not want to switch that over to any other third-party option out there. So this metal skid plate is going to be able to let us keep bumper and the wheelie bar on this truck from Sen Racing, and it's going to allow us to uh, get a little bit less flex that's going on in there. And this is also from XRS Racing as well. And what was happening to the existing supports on the rear is that they constantly bend and they come to the point where you cannot bend them back. It's plastic, you can't do much with them. So I'm trying to remove some of that flex in the rear of the truck as well. I ordered up the stock brackets for this so that I can replace the ones that are bent up on the, on the truck right now. I think I've gone through at least two or three of those rear brackets on this truck and I just needed to find something that would eliminate a lot of that bending of those brackets on the rear. Outside of that guys, uh, we're gonna go ahead, get these parts on the truck. So here we are guys, all done. Now has the new skid plate on there, the new aluminum skid plate. It has the new XRS Racing extended hexes on here which is gonna give me a little bit of a wider stance on this truck. And just so that you guys know, these were the original hexes that I had on here. These are the 23 millimeter hexes that were on here. Don't really have too many options with this hex in regards to wheels that you can put on here. These are the second set of hexes that I went on here, which are 24 millimeter, which allowed me to first put on these wheels on this truck. And I'm gonna just put it here on the counter. That you can see the offset is identical between the two. So I wasn't really getting much of a difference in regards to the offset. But once I went to these wheels, they definitely do not have the same offset on the wheels itself as the stock ones do. So I was getting a little bit of rubbing, especially from the front end, not so much from, not at all from the rear, but really from the front end uh, with these wheels on here. So that's why I went with the extenders that are on this truck now. And I'll show you a picture with the second set of hexes that I put on this truck and the new hexes, the new hex extenders that you see on the truck now. Looking to take this out fairly soon, but also I wanted to talk about the rare aluminum skid plate that's on here now. One thing you must know when you're installing it, you keep all the parts on here. So the original skid plate that's on here, the original bumper, and the support brackets, 
all stay. Nothing changes with that. The only thing that you do is add the aluminum skid plate right on top of it. And they do provide a longer screw set to allow you to marry that all up on this truck. What I also did on top of this was keep my wheelie bar, because this is essential for me. I want the wheelie bar to stay. I just screwed the wheelie bar up. I had to find some a little bit longer screws. The nuts that were on this truck stay. Outside of that, guys, we're gonna leave it here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram for our latest posts of the channel. This is Ready Set RC, signing out. Thanks again, guys.